In a world full of developers, how do you stand out? It's no longer about mastering your coding languages or building apps. It's about how you market yourself. Think about it. Thousands of other people can code too. But what sets you apart? What makes a company choose you over the next person with similar skills? This is where the art of selling yourself as a developer comes in. It's not just about writing good code. It's about making sure the right people know that you do. Now, let's be honest. Standing out in a crowd of developers is like trying to pick out a specific pixel on a 4K screen. Everyone's got GitHub repos. Everyone's built a to-do app in React or five other frameworks. And everyone has passionate about tech in their bio. So how do you make people remember you instead of just another string of code? Well, you start by crafting a personal brand. It isn't just a buzzword, it's essentially how the world perceives you. You might think that your skills and experience speak for themselves, but in today's competitive environment, that's rarely enough. Your personal brand encapsulates your unique identity. It's the combination of your skills, personality, and the values you bring to the table. Think of it like your developer signature. It's what makes people remember you. And one of the most important aspects of personal branding is consistency. This means that how you present yourself on your portfolio, social media, GitHub, or even in-person interactions should all tell the same same story around one central idea. Who are you as a developer? What makes you different? This is the million dollar question. Every developer has a unique combination of skills, interests, and experience that make them stand out. Maybe you are exceptional at solving complex problems, or you're obsessed with making user-friendly interfaces, or perhaps you're a master of backend architecture. Whatever it is, find that special trait that makes you unique. So now that you've defined your personal brand, it's time to take it online. And first up is your portfolio. It is your dating profile in the tech world. This is where potential employers, collaborators, and clients will form their first impression of you. Showcase your best work here. But don't just push your projects, show your personality, explain the thought process behind your projects, why you enjoyed working on them and what you learned. This will help people connect with you on a more personal level. And next is your GitHub. It is your coding footprint. It's like your Instagram but instead of showing how great you look on a vacation, you're showing how well your code works under stress. And let's be real, hiring managers will check this. So make sure your repositories are organized, that you have a clean readable code and if possible, some detailed readme files explaining what each project does. Even better, contribute to open source projects. This not only shows that you are active in developer community, but also builds credibility. And lastly, there's social media. Platforms like LinkedIn and Twitter can be powerful tools for developers. You might hate LinkedIn, but ignoring it is like refusing to wear shoes to a job interview. It doesn't look good. And you don't need to list every tech buzzword in existence. Talk about what you've done and what you're passionate about. And no, you don't have to post Motivation Monday quotes, but sharing relevant content, engaging with the community, and showing up as a human being helps you stay on the radar for recruiters. Also, get active on platforms like Twitter, Reddit, and Discord. These platforms are really the unsung heroes of developers' self-promotion. Twitter is where the developers rant, share, and occasionally drop gems of wisdom. Reddit, great for showing you're part of dev community. And Discord, perfect for live real-time problem-solving in coding communities. So, now that you've built a strong online presence, let's talk about your resume. Your resume isn't a code dump. It's your personal highlight reel. Listing every language you've ever dabbled in is a recipe for disaster. We get it, you know HTML. So instead, focus on your impact. Tell a story about what you built and how it made a difference and why it matters. Sell your value, not just your skills. Because at the end of the day, companies don't care if you know every framework. They care if you can solve problems with the ones you do know. And that brings me to the most important part, side projects. They aren't just for fun. They are how you can prove you can take an idea from concept to execution. And here's a personal story. I landed my first internship during my junior year because of a side project I put on my my resume. It wasn't a massive app, but it showed initiative, creativity, and the fact that I didn't wait around for someone to tell me what to build. You never know, your side project could be the thing that tips the scale in your favor. But it's all in vain if you can't explain what you've done. Which brings me to say, soft skills are important. Your ability to code might get you through the door, but if you can't communicate clearly, collaborate with others, or explain your thought process, you're not getting far. It's not enough just to know what you're doing. You've got to be able to talk about it too. Think of it like this. You need to speak fluent human, not just fluent JavaScript. Now, finally, you've sold yourself well enough to land an interview. Congrats. Now don't blow it. Be ready to tell your story. Your personal brand should give you a narrative to share. Who you are, what you stand for, and how your skills can solve the company's problem. So how your personal projects, your open source work, or your unique strengths align with the company's goal. Be prepared to sell your personal brand, not just your technical skills. Because at the end of the day, selling yourself as a developer is more than just showcasing your technical skills. It's about crafting a narrative that shows your passion, your impact, and your ability to work well with others. It's about being consistent and authentic. Your personal brand is what makes you memorable. It's what sets you apart from the crowd. And in a world full of coders, you've got to stand out by telling the right story. And remember, it's not just about writing code, it's about selling the coder behind the code. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.